channel. So today I wanted to share with you what's inside my sports mom bag. This is the bag that I take with me when we are going to like the ball field, the you know dirt bike track, any sporting type events for the kids' activities. Normally I have one kid participating and not the other. So a lot of these items are more geared toward the child who is not participating to kind of occupy them um, and give them something to do. It's also things that I have found helpful to have when we are at an event at the field, at the track. Now, if you don't know, I have two sons and they are both involved in sports. Now they do take a parkour class. They're heavily involved in that, but that really doesn't pertain to this because there aren't like competitions and meets and events yet for that. But my older son rides dirt bikes and my younger son does too, but he rides less often. There are just less tracks that he is able to ride at. And so this is the bag that always goes with us to the track because it's normally a four or five hour practice and outside and there's lots of things that we need um, throughout that time. Or this would be great also to take to a soccer field, a ball field, you know, an outdoor, you know, event, a track event or whatever your child is involved in. I know when I was beginning to build this bag that kind of was like, always packed throughout the bulk of the season. I watched Happily a Housewife, so I will try and link her below. She has a son that plays baseball, and I've watched her videos forever, so go over and check her out and give her some love. I know she has a video that is more pertaining to like baseball. Um, I'm gonna show you inside my bag. I also wanna say that we do take a cooler, but that's not, it's just water, Gatorade, fruit, you know. Nothing super exciting. So let me show you on the side this bag, guys, and hopefully it'll give you some good ideas. The bag that I have is a 31 tote, I believe, and it is a hard-sided tote. It has these two straps here, and then it has an insert in it that has pockets. Now this insert is removable, and the thing I like most about this bag is that it is completely wipeable. So at the dirt bike track, as I'm sure you can imagine, it, same as the baseball field or the soccer field, it can get quite dirty and dusty and muddy. And this is machine washable or I spot clean it a lot of the time. I can vacuum it out and I just love um, the durability of it and the ability to be able to clean it. So inside it, like I said, there is this like hard sectioned off with these little net sections. Um, insert. I will try if I can to link some of the products below if you know like the bag and things below if I can find them on the 31 website. So the first thing I have is wipes. We always need wipes. I really am not picky about the brand. These are just the Equate brand. Not picky. They normally get used up. Everybody always has some dirty hands there. Um, the next thing that's down in that pocket is a trash bag. We always need a trash bag. We actually take a table to the track or we would tie it on the bleachers. Some fields that we would visit, I remember last year, would not always have trash cans available. So it was nice to have a trash bag. I, these are also good for muddy shoes and flip flops or muddy gear. I have a pair of headphones down in here in case my younger son or my older son, whoever isn't participating, would like to like play a game, then they can hear it a little better. I have some hand sanitizer because there are tons of germs at all of these sporting events. They're sharing equipment, their hands are dirty and muddy, and you need that before you eat. And I like just the plain Germex for this bag. And then I have some moisturizer um, with sunscreen. I find that my son's um, hands get really, really dry because of his gloves. I don't know if any of you moms in other sports find that, but I like to use this Healthy Defense Moisturizer on him and a Sharpie because I love when we have a Sharpie with us that if somebody opens a bottle of water or Gatorade and sticks it back in the colder to keep it cold, we are not questioning who it is. We just mark it with a Sharpie and everyone knows what drinks what. In the next pocket, I have some glow bracelets. Sometimes we are at the track at night and these are so fun for the kids. 
Um, even sometimes if it's not nighttime, they pull them out of my bag and just play with them. It's a good dollar, you know, boredom buster. I have some sports sunscreen. I do, I know this probably is not the best for the kiddo's skin, but I do like this Banana Boat Sport. I'm going to try to move to a more natural and, you know, like healthy option. If you know any great sunscreens that actually work through sweat and dirt and dust, leave them in the comments. And then I have some bug spray somewhere down in here. I have some bug spray. And again, I know that this isn't the best for the kid's skin, but guys, I don't know what else to use. These places are so buggy and we get bit to high heaven if we don't use something on our skin. So we always keep that in the bag. Okay, on the other side, I have a bag of medications and first aid things. I don't keep this in a case because I haven't found something that I can really wipe. That I like to keep it in a Ziploc bag because it's really dirty and dusty where we're go we where we normally are going. It's normally pretty dirty and dusty where we're going, and so I like to be able to just take the bottles out, wipe them down, clean the um, you know dispensers, and put it in a new Ziploc when we're done. And that's like my mini. So that's like my mini first aid kit. We also have a little first aid kit in the car. This pocket, I have some extra sunglasses for everybody in the family because there's nothing worse than being stuck um, on a field or at a track and you don't have any sun protection for your eyes. And here I have a lighter because we do have a grill that we take with us and sometimes we need to be able to light it. Also down in here are um, some extra, this is my emergency candy. Um, in case we get super bored and fund it take a really long time to eat. So I also have some of these clips in case we open a bag of chips or pretzels and they don't have a zipper top, even though I try to avoid that. These are great for clipping them up. I've also used them to clip up um, wet jerseys to our easy up or wet pair of pants that need to dry to our easy up. Kind of like a clothesline. So those have come in handy so many times. Then down in the middle of the bag here, I have a, I have a couple of hats for um, the kids. Again, more sun protection. And then a bunch of toys that my little guy and even my older guy um, like to play with when we're out and about. They like to dig in the dirt. And they do have a bunch of like bikes and balls and toys in the trailer that we travel with for the track and in the back of the car if we are at a field. But I do like to take them some things that they can play like on the bleachers sitting down. Another thing that I always bring when we're at the track are bubbles. The kids enjoy bubbles at the track or at the field um, and it keeps all of the kids kind of busy chasing after them. Even sometimes the older kids, you know, get kind of competitive with who can catch the biggest bubble. And so I, I buy these bubble wands in like a four or five pack at Walmart and I just try and keep one stuck down inside that bag. Then I take snacks. So uh, you always need snacks and I hate spending a ton of money at the concession stands. So I normally take like a 12 pack of some type of cookie cracker. The, you know, they come in the multi packs. I normally always keep a box in this bag just so I have them and then we can share with friends. I have some granola bars down in here that I just actually got a couple days ago at Trader Joe's. Um, I also, have some chips in there. They love some chips and some dried fruit. And I, again, I take a cooler with all kinds of like fruit and things like that. Now I also keep a roll of paper towels in here. They're good for big messes. We've had bloody noses. We have had all kinds of things going on. And so paper towels are a necessity. And then the last thing way down in here is a bag of paper plates. And I will stick, I just haven't gotten around to it yet, stick some napkins and some forks and, and like plastic silverware in there. Just because, um, you know, when we're at the track for a couple of hours and we need to eat a meal, it's nice to have those things available. And I just keep them in this baggie and when we're done, if the bag's dirty or anything, I just take them out and throw the bag away and get a new one. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed taking a look into what I pack for a day at the track or the field um, in my sports mom bag. If you have a kiddo that plays sports and you're gonna be spending a lot of time outdoors at their events this spring and summer, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. We would love to have you hang out with us here on our channel. Um, I post about all different kinds of things, and we have some really fun videos planned. We are doing Veda right now, so you can expect a video every day for the month of April from us. So hit, us, hit the subscribe button and join us, and have a great day, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.